Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So you know you're an Israelite, right? You know you're an Israelite, right? All right, so we bring out the law about the fringes. You know what the fringes are for, right? Come talk to us, brother. We're here for you, man. We men, bro. That's the problem in 2020. That's the problem in this country. Brothers don't know how to be men. But the Bible shows us how to be men. Men are supposed to dialogue with one another. It's not a diss with you, but as men, we need to chop it up. We talking man business right now. We talking nation business right now. That's right. Now, what's your name, brother? Your name's Jerome. What's your name, brother? My name's Craig. Craig, let me ask you a question. Now, you understand fringes, right? Yes. What do you understand about the fringes before we move on? It's all praises, all praises. So now that we know the law, now that we know who we are, which is the first step, let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. That's a good step because it's not about knowing it. Like G.I. Joe said, I grew up in the 80s watching G.I. Joe. They said knowing was half the battle. So what's the other part of the battle? Teach. Let's find out and see what God say. You're on the right track, but let's hear the words of God. Let's solidify well, we think, according to thus saith the Lord. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. All right, read it from the top, because it says, now that you know you're an Israelite, now you know some of the laws, what's required of you? Read. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Wait a minute, did it say now, black man? Now, Israel. Did it say the human race? Now, Israel. Who are the Israelites today? The so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans, right. the disenfranchised. You are the Israelites. That's right. Today we're going to give you the greatest gift on the planet. We talk about the good news. This is the good news. Know who you are. Read from the top. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So what's required of you? You so-called so blacks and Hispanics. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. See that? To fear the Lord thy God. Hold that. Let's get fear, brother. Hold that. What's it said? To fear the Lord thy God. Okay. You think you fear God. But what's the significance in fearing God? Let's find out. And we go elaborate. We're going to bring it out to you. That's the first step. To fear God. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring 10. It out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. See, stop right there. It said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Teach Everybody think they smart out here. Everybody want to call themselves an intellectual. Bring it out. But what does the Lord say? The Lord created all things. Hell, he created the earth in six days. Right. Don't you think he got all the wisdom? Right. The air we breathe. The oxygen. You say it's H2O. Who created that? The most high God. That's right. He got all the wisdom. It's not in 5%. It's not in the mathematics. Teach. The trees right here. The trees produce oxygen. Right. How did it do that? Guess who did it, though? I, can, I don't know how it does it, but guess who did it? The most high God. That's right. So why won't he be the author of wisdom? But you have to fear him. That's the beginning of wisdom. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Read that part again, a good understanding. So that's the first step, fearing God. It's the beginning of wisdom. Read, it from, read that part from that, a good understanding. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Because guess what? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And once you get that fear, once you, then the next step is understanding. How do you get understanding? When you keep God's commandments. Right. Guess what? The commandments said thou shalt not commit adultery. But everybody out here, they ain't all the pipe on Madison. Where the hell we at? Central and Madison. Thank you, bus driver. They ain't all the pipe out here. But guess what? What comes behind that? Adultery. You have a, a, a rage husband. The Bible talks about a rage husband. He ain't going to stop. You begging his wife, what you think he going to do? Right. That's Jeez. wisdom right there. Don't sleep with a man's wife. Right. Even beside that, what about diseases, STDs, herpes? That comes with adultery. That comes with fornication. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 32. Bring it out. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman... Lacketh understanding. Remember, a good understanding have all those who keep the commandments. Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But the Bible says if you do commit adultery, you lack understanding. You deprive of understanding. Bring it out. You think later at night you try to get a jump off? Well, what, what happened to that husband come home? Guess what? He might have to come in with the Glock now and bust all the caps in you. Teach. You kill her too. Or what about you get AIDS, diseases? Or what about if you already married? Now you jeopardize your marriage. Now you jeopardizing your family. Right. With adultery, you breaking families, bro. Teach. What about those kids? Because guess what? After that act happens, the husband ain't going to want to be with her no more. Bring now you got divorce. Right. Now you got single parent households. Right. Read it from the top. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 32. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. Remember, if you commit adultery, you ain't got no understanding. You dumb as hell. Teach. One of the first unions that the Most High created was marriage. Right. Adam and Eve. Some of y'all think Adam and Steve, but we will get to that Lord's will. Adam and Eve, that was the first institution of marriage. Because when you come, when you get marriage, those are those are steps to nation building. That's right. Because you have a man, you have a father in the house raising that child. Teach them how to be righteous. Teach them the law, statutes, and commandments. And guess what that child does? They pass it on. Generation upon generation. Right. But when you commit adultery, you lack the understanding of that. You don't realize that you break your homes. Right. You create single family households. How many of us grew up with a father in the house? Okay, all praise to the most high. But a lot of our families, they ain't had a father. Everybody staying with grandma. Hell, they ain't got no family. They ain't got no mother, no father. Grandma raising them. Right. It's supposed to be the mother and the father raising those children. Teach, Chuck. Let's go back to Psalms 111 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Guess what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You have to fear God. Because you getting gunned down on the streets, that's a judgment from God. If you sleep with another man's wife, and that husband kill you, put some slugs in you, that's a judgment from God. If you commit adultery to a woman or with a man, you get STDs, all type of disease, HIV, that's a judgment from God. Bring it out. But some of y'all, y'all don't feel that. Y'all trying to bust that nut. Jeez. That nut can lead to death. Bring that's it out. right. Yes, we're men. What, we, what am I reading? I'm reading the Bible. We ain't about to give you no watered down doctrine. Like we say on Central and Mass, and we gonna keep it 100. Jeez. With y'all. We talking nation business. Right. Read for the top. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring it the up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Right, so once you understand for what I've been talking about with adultery, once you understand the repercussions that be cap that come behind adultery, that's that good understanding. Then you start to apply the commandments. Thou should not keep the thou should not commit adultery. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because again, what's required of you is lights. What's required of the so-called blacks and Hispanics? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, 
chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day. For thy good. Right, so keeping God's commandments is for your betterment. Right. It's for your own good. Because remember, the wages of sin is death. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.